Hey guys, I wanted to make this video because I'm just feeling pulled to. One thing I told myself this year uh, with regards to like who I am and YouTube, that as soon as I felt something like tugging on my heart, I would speak on it and I just wouldn't overthink it and I would just post it. And like, that's truly what one of my main goals was. I was like, I just don't want to like worry like if people will understand or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm doing it now. I watched a video from a subscriber from mine. I actually had no idea she made videos. So I'm a brand new subscriber to her, but I love her channel. So her channel name is just Brittany and I will leave it linked down below. And I, first of all, I had no idea you made videos. I've seen you comment on my videos and I had no idea you made videos as well. So um, I'm really enjoying getting to know you little by little in your videos. So she mentioned in one of her videos uh, about me and how she loves how positive I am and that she thinks it's a superpower. And I wanted to touch on this because this is the one if anything that I get, that's what I get the most is like, you are so positive. And I wanted to touch on that because I truly do feel like it's a superpower. I think it's my greatest strength that I have. And it wasn't always that way for me. I was always the most negative, most down and out person you would ever meet. I wasn't always this way. And I just would like to share my perspective, I guess. And I've talked, I've, I've like touched on this before but I think it's nice to just have that refresher and maybe this video will hit someone who really needs to hear it. But I truly believe that what you put out, you will get in return. I feel like I'm living proof of it. I My life has not always been what you see now and it's by no means perfect. Please don't ever think that. It is, it, by no means is my life perfect. Um, I've had some dark, dark uh, phases in my life, moments of my life, periods, years. <laughs> There's been not so great things in my past and that I've had to go through. And I truly believe, like I said, you get what you put out there into the world. And I do believe if, you're ne if your energy is more negative, and more poor me mentality, not saying this is not directed towards anybody, but this is just like in general, like a statement, like, you know how there's those people that are like, poor me, poor me, or like everything's happening to them. Like everything, they take everything to be about them and poor me. And like, that was literally me. That's exactly how I was. And I just feel like when that is your mindset, then, of course, everything's going to be happening to you. Like, it's going to feel like everyone's against you. It's going to feel like everybody's talking about you. It's going to feel like the whole world is out to get you. It's going to feel like everyone has everything and you have nothing. It's going to feel that way if that's what you're putting out there. And that was 100% me. And it truly, my life changed when Trevor, Trevor's, he's been sick my whole, I go like this because it's kidney disease. So he was gradually getting sicker and sicker our whole relationship. But when he ended up on dialysis, that's truly when I knew that I was going to be uh, kind of the anchor to the family. And as a mom, you typically are like the anchor to the family. But like Trevor and I, we've always, we've always been, yeah, it's even playing grounds for us. And when he was this at his sickest and needing to have dialysis treatments, which was every other day, four hours a day in hospital. Um, he just wasn't able to put out as much in that area of like parenting and just his spirits were, were a bit low. And obviously like it was, it was a lot. Um, but I knew that I could not, I could not go down there with him. I could not be here with him when normally we're always here. And then Trevor's here cause he's going through, hell like absolute hell and I knew I couldn't and I was feeling myself going down there with him and I knew I had to be here because I just couldn't I couldn't let myself get how I wanted to how I normally do like oh my gosh like Trevor being on dialysis poor me 
Like, poor me. It's not even me. It's him. But, like, that was instantly how I, I was like, why is this happening to me? Like, why? Of course. Like, my husband's sick. Of course my husband's sick. Like, this is my life. Like, and it had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with me. It was, it's Trevor. Uh, I'm obviously there by his side every day. But, like, I'm not the one that's sick. And that truly changed my life. Knowing I had to level up uh, for myself and my family, for Trevor. I really dug deep into personal development and you can say what you want about personal development because some people think it's very wooey and just like out there and but it's changed my life and I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for uh diving into that area like I highly recommend there's podcasts books anything you like literally the information is out there for free like go to the library like YouTube there's tons on YouTube but for me, I found Rachel Hollis. She's not everyone's cup of tea and that's fine. But you know what? Her and I are, have always, we always seem to be on the same path. Like her experiences are very similar to my experiences. So I just resonated with her. But you gotta find someone that you are, um, like you feel like you can relate to, that you see a little bit of yourself in. Uh, and there's lots of people out there. Like Mel Robbins is really good. I really like Mel Robbins. Me and her are not on the same wavelength. So like I find it a bit harder to follow her with everything. I resonate more with Rachel. But like there's so many people out there. There's men. There's not, It's not just women. But like there's lots of people out there. Just if you go into the personal development world on YouTube or on Audible or in your library or wherever, like you will most likely find someone that you can relate to. But I just started listening to her words of wisdom and her life experience. And she really helped me change my perspective on everything, how life wasn't happening to me. It was happening for me. And I know I rolled my eyes the first time I heard that too. I'm like, okay, whatever. That like, I don't even know what that means, but it's so true. And little by little, I took every thing that she said, I applied it to my life. You guys have seen me a million times on this channel, writing things down in my gratitude journal, writing out hopes and dreams and goals. And you guys have seen it all. And if you haven't, it's all on my channel. I have so many videos on all of this. But when I started focusing on things to be grateful for, for the things I have now in this moment, like little tiny things, my whole mindset changed not instantly at all but little by little every day i felt myself feeling less negative and when you focus on what you have you stop looking for more when you are already content and happy with where you're at and what you have there's nothing like you're already good like i'm so grateful that this morning i got to have coffee with my mom in someone else's house while we're like pet sitting and like it's a whole other routine going there to do that I'm loving it but it's a lot of work and I could focus on the fact that oh my gosh like I'm thrown off my routine this is a lot of work but I instantly focus on like I'm so grateful I get to do this with my mom and we get to have a nice coffee together and we're around all these dogs and they're all barking and like this is how how funny like we're gonna look back on this someday and just laugh at the two of us dogs sitting these two dogs we don't even own dogs like do you know what I mean like things like that like I inst like it is so automatic for me to switch anything to a positive uh so anyways getting back to like things to be like being grateful for like you can find something to be grateful for every day you truly can and it the smaller it is the better this will work for you like I'm not talking like I'm so grateful for my house like everyone who has a house knows that that's a privilege like yes we are grateful for our house you're grateful for a roof over your head but I'm talking about like I am so grateful that the sun came out today just in time for the kids to get off the bus and like just little things like if you are grateful for little things in your life you will see a difference because you're not going to be looking for big things because some people just think they're not lucky unless they have a vacation or they have um like whatever it is my mind always goes to the positive in every situation and 
I feel like it could come across as annoying at times, like how could it not? But I just know that I have never felt bad about feeling positive about something than the opposite, like feeling crappy. Whenever I feel down and negative and just poor me and this and that, I never feel good about that. Like it's never a good thing, it's never a good feeling. I definitely have those moments and I definitely feel those feelings and emotions but it's not like an everyday thing. Like my everyday mindset is always positivity. It's always looking on the bright side, looking for things that to be grateful for, looking for blessings. And in turn, I feel like I'm just showered in it. I'm showered with wonderful things and wonderful experiences. And maybe they're really not to the average Joe, but to me, I'm like, wow, like, oh my gosh, like the grass is turning green. That is so amazing. But like, that has nothing to do with me. Like that's, but I am like, wow, like I'm so grateful. I've been waiting all winter for this. Like this is wonderful. And to me, it just feels like the best thing ever. And I just feel like the luckiest girl ever to have a green yard after all that snow we've had all winter. Like I just find, I just notice things more and things mean more to me and just, I feel like I attract good things into my life. And I mean, you can believe it or not, and that's up to you. And I, I just believe in it. I do believe that you get what you put out there. I'm a heavy believer in manifestation. And I do notice like if I'm having a bad day, if my morning starts off crappy and I focus on the crap that's happening in the morning, I've spilt my coffee, I jammed my toe, I stepped on Ellie's tail and she's mad at me. Like. I'll notice the if I focus on it, my whole day is awful. My whole day, I get like flipped off in traffic. I like end up with a cranky cashier at the store. I like, whatever it is, it's like, it just spirals because I'm focusing on that. I, that's how I believe. I believe that's how things work. But if you're always thinking of positive things and you can like, okay, the coffee spilt, like that was silly. <laughs> I know it's annoying. I know that's annoying, but like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is definitely not how my day's going. Nope. And then I instantly start thinking, okay, I'm so grateful. I have another cup here I can make. This is no big deal. That's how I will switch it. I will, because I do believe that if you think you're going to have a good day, you're going to have a good day and you'll notice it. Like if you're having a good day, don't you notice like everything seems to be going right and everything's going well for you. So I, I just believe that happens. And some people may call that prayer. I like to call it manifestation. I manifest in a way that some people may call prayer. For me, it's just, I like to put things out there in the universe. I like my energy and vibration to be high because I feel like I get it back. As I'm editing this video, I'm realizing there's more I wanted to say. I wanted to say thinking positive and looking on the bright side is it's easy to say when things are going good and and uh, things like your coffee spilling and just flipping that. Like those are little minor, minor things. I know those were the examples I gave, but sometimes life is just shitty and it just happens and shitty things happen to good people. And I'm not trying to be like, okay, so this and this happened. So you just need to like, not don't dwell on that. Don't be negative. I'm not talking about that. The one thing I have learned is that it is okay to sit in your feelings and feel what you need to feel. And when shitty things happen, sometimes you just have to feel the anger. You have to feel sorry for yourself. You have to sit in the uncomfortable crap that's going on around you for a little while, but you got to get up. You can't stay there because shitty things are going to happen to good people. It's just the way it is. It does. It happens. And I'm not, I don't want it to ever come across as fluffy as like, oh, like just like think positive and like, you're going to be good. Like you're going to be good, but things are still going to happen. So that's um, <laughs> me in a nutshell, but it hasn't always been that way. And if this is not you, trust me, I, I get it. And I know Hearing this from me just sounds like, oh, of course she would say that, like she has it easy or she has this wonderful life. And yeah, I freaking have the best life. I am so, so grateful for this because this has not always been me. This has not always been me. I've had uh, 
a very sick husband. I have been in the slumps of motherhood where I felt like I could not make it through another 30 seconds of it. I've been through hell and back in areas that I've never spoke about on this channel and I don't know if I ever will, but just trust me when I tell you like this has not always been what you see now. I feel like I've really put in the work and I'm glad it's showing to you guys that you guys can see that like I am bubbly, I am happy, I'm very positive and I feel like anyone can do it. Another thing that I have done that has helped me have a positive outlook on things and generally be a more happier bubbly like just happy person in general is I have, I have a very filtered feed I filter my feed I don't follow anybody that makes me feel a certain type of way if there's someone who I just don't align with like I don't what they're sharing and what they're portraying out there in the world if it makes me feel like anything like it make if it makes me feel like ugh, like or uh, like I feel not great when I leave their page I will unfollow them and I don't like watch the news I know Brittany was talking about this about like not watching the news and stuff like that or tv I don't know if she said news but she said like tv but like I I don't watch <laughs> I don't watch things because I don't I just don't want I just don't want to see every day like I know what's going on but I don't watch the little daily things like I don't watch our local news station because like I just don't need to know that stuff I really don't uh and when things affect me negatively like if I just feel like ew, like you get like the ick like when you, when you go to certain people's pages like I will unfollow them and if it's someone that's like I just am, <laughs> like it might cause a bit of friction if I am unfollowing I will mute them because I just don't like feeling that way so I'm not gonna put myself through it so I very I have a very filtered feed and if you go on Instagram you'll see like I barely follow anyone like I just filter things so much so the only the people that I see their stuff like it's only positive like I only feel positively when I'm around them and seeing their stuff and same with like YouTube like if I don't like somebody I don't watch them like I just don't understand that whole like people leaving hate comments to people and people being rude to people and like keyboard warriors and like thankfully I don't deal with that a lot but I've had a few in my day here on YouTube and it's just like I just don't understand like I can't even comprehend that like getting to that point where you hate someone so much that you have to tell them every day how much you hate them or like pick apart their life or like so like if I if there's people that I don't like or I'm just not vibing with or they make me feel a certain way that I don't want to be feeling, then I unfollow them. I don't watch them. I'm very protective over my peace and I feel like that is a tremendous tool to have. Like if you know what's going to trigger you or if you know like a certain someone is just making you feel like just not your best self, like just remove yourself from that situation. I feel like I've worked on this for years now and I, I, you've have, you've seen it but I feel like in the past like year or so I've been really working on accepting myself because I was really focusing on just you know changing how my perspective was of things and how to not be like bitter and angry and ha not how to be like poor me and all that kind of stuff but like I still was like unhappy with myself like I hated my birthmark like I hated it more than everything anything i hated my body i hated my skin i just anything that was me like physically i was like oh like i just hate it and i feel like this past year or two i've been really working hard on just like letting myself age let what's supposed to happen happen embrace because it's a blessing to grow older and no judgment to the words those who do things to slow down the process or make the process look not as dramatic like by getting botox and stuff like that like i have people dear and special to me in my heart i'm very close with that get botox and they love it and it does wonderful things for their self-esteem um but that's not the route i wanted to go so i'm just i started off this with getting rid of filters Absolutely, I never will use a filter ever, 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 ever because it really messed with my mindset. I uh, started to not hide my, like I kind of I kind of have a hidden right now, not purposely. I feel like that kind of did that in the wind. It went over that way. But like I do find I show my gray more because I want to just get used to it. 
I uh, started buying clothes that fit my body that I have now instead of waiting for myself to get smaller or like being like, oh, like I'll just wear this until I lose weight. Like I just stopped that whole mindset and I've come a long way and I'm very happy with where I'm at and I've really learned to love and embrace and accept myself as I am now and I feel like that helps with positivity when you're good with you then you can be good with everything else so I hope this video made sense I just wanted to make this video because I just I felt it on my heart after watching just Brittany's video and uh, she was saying like oh like I I love that about Jacqueline. I think it's a superpower that she has. And I agree with you. Once you have this down, it is a superpower because it'll change your life. Truly, and with everything in me, like it will change your life. Uh, so I just wanted to make this video because I thought that was very sweet that she said that. And I'd love for if you guys went over to her channel and showed her some love. She, I'm very new to her channel. And I just feel awful. I didn't even know she made videos until now. So I am definitely going to be binging her channel today. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are well. And um, yeah, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in my next video.